On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Welcome to another episode of the On Drop Rate series. In the last one we did some Krill, we did some Solra, and we got pretty lucky actually. We did only like 55 Krill and 35 Solra before we actually finished both of those grinds and got the items we were looking for. In this one we have a pretty ambitious goal. We're going to be fighting Vorkath. I've seen a lot of people recommend this and the item we're going to be hunting for is the Dragon Bone Necklace which has a 1 in 1000 drop rate. So we might be doing 1000 Vorkath kills if I get unlucky. Now in the previous video we had no giveaway to do but I did get in contact with Tomatoes who was the 82 million giveaway from the Gauntlet video so I could finally give him the 82.3 million GP so here that clip is and he was actually a fairly new player to the game which is really interesting and I hope you will get some good use of this money let's accept and there you are 82 million GP to like a level 30 who has been fishing mostly from these stats, oh my god. Yeah, hopefully you will have some good use from that. I have now transformed into the gear I am going to be using for this boss. I did sell my imbued heart and my dragon warhammer because I wanted enough money to actually buy the dragon hunter crossbow. I've only really ever ranged Vorkath, so I'm going to be doing it with the ranged method instead of the melee one. And if we go all the way down to Vorkath, I currently have 300 KC and I do actually have a dragon bow necklace drop, but of course this is irrelevant. We're going to go for 1300 KC or the dragon bow necklace. Man, I have to say that was a pretty rusty kill, the first one of course in a long time, 320. I think I can do 2 minute kills on average if I get a bit more into it. Both a combination of better hits and some better gameplay, 149 on the second one, that's what we wanna see. Oh, already? What? 16 kills in, Vorkath head number 1. Well, a pretty fast kill as well. I don't think I really have any use for this because I already have the Avas that uses the head. But um, yeah, it's a pretty cool drop, I guess. Oh yes, there we go. That first elite clue scroll of the grind. Uh, that was very short after the head. Actually, only two more kills. I need to mark those so it's not a white item. But uh, they are 1 in 65, so we're going to do quite a bit of these. Man, back in the days, these dragon plate legs were pretty rare and valuable. Now you just get them all the time from Vorkath. We're going to get a lot of them in these 1000 kills. Or less than that if we get the necklace. What is this? Dragon Bolts unfinished. 276,000 and an elite clue scroll, which I now marked. You can see that. It's that big beam, very nice. Second elite clue scroll. And we're going to open all of these at the end, by the way. Oh my god, javelins. <laughs> They're always rare, man. Let me see, I have the loot table right here. It's uh, almost 1 in 1000. It's 2 drops in 1920. So yeah, almost 1 in 1k. So it has been about 4 hours roughly of killing Vorkath. And this is now kill count number 100. You can see in the chat there, 400 kill count done. Of course, starting at 300. And that means that I'm getting 25 kills an hour. Meaning the entire grind, if I do not get the necklace, is around 40 hours. Oh, that's a double. Oh, that is a double. Look at that. Dragon Bolt's unfinished. Like the best drop you can get. That's almost 500k in one drop. So meanwhile I've been running to Vorkath, this guy has been here like the entire time just thieving these stalls and he has an alt account that got all the market guard stuck. I was really curious what this was, if it was, was for experience or anything else. I asked Max Nick in my group Iron Man team and he said it was the best chance of getting the pet. So that's quite an interesting tactic. Oh, that is why we do PVMing. The dopamine from that. Two purple colors and Elite Cruise Girl and Vorkath had in the same kill. Always nice to see. 
actually did kind of miss it. You can see in the chat 600 KC, which means 300 for this video. And you can see the counter on the top right. I'm almost at 1 million ranged experience from just doing Vorkath. The experience you get is pretty good because you hit so high on the boss all the time. And from this entire grind, I'm going to be getting more ranged experience than I got from Listed Men Shamans. And that is around 2 million I got from that, I think. I think this is going to be more like 3 million, which is very nice. I was actually streaming some Vorkath killing and I was told by my chat, I can't remember exactly who said it, but that you can use a Slayer staff and just have Crumble on Dead as Autocast. Let's see if this is going to be a bit more convenient. Alright, here we go. Finally got the attack to happen and let's equip the staff. Alright, yeah, that is quite a lot more smoother. It's I don't have to go to the spellbook and sometimes you misclick on it and then you just have to tank the 50, but with the staff that never really happens. Not quite the halfway point yet, but we have made a good dent in the amount of kills. We have to do 400 kills and nothing yet. No unique, nothing really too interesting to show. Of course, the Vorkath heads and the Elite Clue Scrolls, but that's about it. I have to say, this has taken quite some time, but we are now on the halfway point after this one. In the chat, you will see 800 KC, which means 500 kills done for this video. We're on the halfway point, and unfortunately, the rune light loot tracker is actually missing like two kills, I think. I will put the loot on the screen right now. We have not actually got any uniques at all, which is kind of unfortunate. I hope I get at least one of them in the last 500. If not the necklace, then at least like a visage or the skeletal visage, the jar or the pet. Just anything interesting would be nice. Because it's kind of hard to keep up the motivation. I've been doing this for like 22 hours now. And I still have 22 hours roughly left to do, so quite a bit. But we also have the elite clue scrolls to do in the end, which is going to be quite a lot of them. I have to say, what's really good about the series, and what actually keeps my motivation up a lot, is that when I'm on these really big grinds, I never know when it could be done. This kill right here could be it. It is not, but it could be the final kill, that's the thing. Like, I never know if this is going to be my last kill that I do every single kill, or if I have to spend 40-50 hours here just grinding out Vorkath. Oh! <laughs> No way! Jar of Decay. That is a 1 in 3000 drop rates and uh, yeah, that's not a good look. It is not looking great for getting the dragon bone and necklace if we're getting 1 in 3k's but not 1 in 1k. It's worth 20k so not that much money but uh, it's always nice to see uniques at least. Let's have a look at my collection log now for Vorkath, how it looks. 14 heads, the dragon bone necklace from before, the actual video, and the jar of decay. Of course, I miss the really rare items, but uh, yeah, we're getting somewhere at least. We're about to hit a pretty big milestone, 700 kills for this grind, and overall on the account, have a look at the chat, 1000 KC on a 2 minute kill, pretty slow one, or average I would say, but yeah, 1000 KC, that is a lot of Warcraft kills, but as I've said earlier, we're going to end at 1300, so we still have 300 more to go. We are now on the last day of the grind, this is kill number 950, and we have no dragon bone necklace. Let's go actually to the collection log real quick, all the way to Vorkath. We have 15 Vorkath heads, one jar of decay, which you saw before, but no dragon bone necklace. Or we do have one, but not during this grind. And no visage, no pets, and no skeletal visage either, which uh, I guess is expected. But uh, yeah, no dragon bone necklace. Only 50 more kills to go. Uh, I'm. It is getting tense. Man, I have to say, it is not looking good, 990 kills done for the video, only 10 more to go, and we still have not won the challenge, and after these kills I have some elite clue scrolls to open, not quite sure how many it is, I had to drop two of them as well I believe, so we will have to see at the end of this, but uh, probably a good amount at least. Kill number 998 is going to be... nothing. 999 kills, only one more after this one, and we get nothing. It is down to the last kill. Are we going to win or lose this challenge? It all comes down to this last kill. This has all in all with the elite clue scrolls and everything I've done. Banking, buying new supplies has taken me 52 hours. I've timed everything and this is the last kill. 
and I get no Dragon Ball necklace. 1,300 Ks in the chat, and I will put the loot on the screen for all the 1,000 kills right now. It is 998 for some reason. It did not track two of the kills, but that is not going to make much of a difference. And you can see in the chat, 1,300. We start on 300, and we get no Dragon Ball necklace. I think it's time to open some Elite Clue Scrolls and give away a lot of money. Now, even though I got 17 clues, I had to drop two of them, so we only got 15, but that is a good amount of elite clue scrolls, and as in every single video, I do a giveaway. I give away half the loot that I got from the boss, as well as everything that I get from the clue scrolls, so let's go ahead and see how much I'm going to be giving away from just the clue scrolls. First one is 156k. 213k. I would love to see some collection log items because of course that I get to keep a master clue scroll. I'm not going to try to do all of them right now, but I will try to do it after this. A unique? I already have that. Okay, blacksmith helmet. That's 144k though. And that is another unique royal gown top. 138k is not worth that much. Let's just keep opening. Oh, you oh, I got a mimic. Interesting. Wait, where is the mimic even? You cannot open the casket at the moment if it turned out to be me. Oh, I see. Okay, I have to bank. All right, let's continue. Open the last eight ones for ranger gloves. That has to be rare. How expensive is that? 584k. That's pretty good, I would say. They're probably kind of rare, but let's continue. 300k. I'm not sure what actually uh, makes it that expensive. 75k. 262k. We're getting some good amounts of money, at least from these Elite Cruise Girls. 250k. And, oh my god, Light Infinity Color Kit? Oh, it's not worth much, though. I thought these would be worth a lot, but uh, the last one, can we open it? Yes, we can. All right, 84k. Let's have a look at the overall loot from these, and I will try to do the Master as well. All right, we could actually complete the Master Clue Scroll. Let's see what the casket is going to give us. Hopefully something good. And after that, we can have a look at how much I'm going to be giving away. Of course, I'm going to give away everything from this Master Clue as well. You can get some really high-valued item from this, so let's go ahead and open it. Oh, we got a Mimic. Very interesting. Let's go and do it. And there it is. That's the Mimic killed. Gotta pick up the Mahogany Plank, of course, for luck. And that is my third Mimic ever killed. Let's leave this place and let's see what we get from the Master Clue scroll. That included a Mimic. We get... A very average master clue, but it's 448,000, and now let's see how much money I owe you finally. Now at the end of all of this, as I did lose the challenge, the amount of money I'm going to be giving away is a grand total of 75.6 million GP. That is a lot of money, and the way you win this is by leaving a comment saying anything about the video, anything you want to say overall, and your RuneScape name below that, so I can contact you in-game. After this video, it will take 48 hours until I will roll the winner, so you have two days to do this. After that, I will reply to the comment that won, and I will also try to contact you on Discord, so joining that is a good way of getting in contact with me, and I will also try to contact you in-game. So those are the three ways I will contact you and let you know that you've won. Also, in my Discord, there is a section where you will be able to see the current winner. You will see that, of course, 48 hours after this is up, and if I cannot get in contact with you within 48 hours after that, so four days after the upload, I will roll another winner. So you have two days to get in contact with me after the initial two days have been uh, passed. I wish you all the best of luck on this giveaway and joining the Discord is definitely the best way of getting in contact with me. Make sure your name on the Discord is the same as your in-game name in RuneScape. Makes it way easier for me to get in contact with you. The last thing I want to say is I did stream a small portion of this Warcath grind right here on YouTube and during that stream both Edward Bobsled and Gustavo Abro joined as members so a big thank you to both of you guys for supporting my channel and the series overall. But with all of this explained I am going to say thank you all for watching, I hope you guys did enjoy it and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.